Welcome to Cooking with Chef Mark. Today we're going to make some pizza subs. So first of all, we'll start by washing our hands. Okay. First of all, we have ingredients. We have bread rolls for our base, for our pizza subs. We have pepperoni. We have basil, some ham, shredded ham, some red and green capsicum, uh, some tomato paste, some barbecue sauce just for the flavours for the base, and some shredded cheese. All right, first of all, and also we have uh, a bowl to mix our ingredients together. We have three trays that I have already, already pre lined. Uh, we have a chopping board, a chopper a shredded knife, a spoon to get the tomato paste out, and a, a knife to spread it. Okay, so first of all, we'll start by getting our bread rolls out. Like this. Try like that. Just move these ones over for now. We'll just do six to show you how they, this works. So. Put them down there like that, and across there. We'll cut these through the middle, about halfway through the middle, all the way across. Alright, like that. You then turn them upside down like that. You can pull them apart a bit later on. We'll do the same again, cutting through the rolls, keeping it, trying to keep it as even as possible so you have a nice space. Put them in like that, and like that. Next thing we'll do is we'll get our topping. So we'll put the ham in there, like that. Bowl. Then we'll cut up some capsicum. I'm using red and green capsicum here. slice the edges around the outside and there's a part on here that's quite bitter so if you can get that off it really helps you with your doesn't you don't give it all that bitter flavor coming through on the capsicum so we'll just do the same with both the red one and the green one okay just chop the last bit off the end here and you've got that bit there same with the green one here that and all we do with this is we chop them, slice them across the curve, like this, like that, like this, making sure they're all really fine. To the meat, like that. Ham. Now I've got pepperoni, but I've got a friend that's allergic to garlic, and there's actually garlic salt, or garlic something in the in the pepperoni. So I'm going to do that separately. Normally I have it all together. I've got some basil here. I'll put that in there as well. You can buy this in the store like this, or you can, you know, if you have basil growing in your garden, you can just chop that up and put that in. It's a nice, nice flavour to it. Okay, so I'll just put the cheese in there with that too. Put the cheese in there, like that. You toss it through, like that. So you've got a nice sort of topping for it. Is it true? Right. Okay. There we have a reasonably good mix of cheese and ham, capsicum. 
Now you can also do onion with it. So we won't do that today. Alright, so that's our topping. There's our rolls. Now we're going to put on the base flavours. So a bit of barbecue sauce on there like this. Just going to make mix this for a bit. Let's put a, a little bit of tomato paste on. Just use a little knife here to spread that across the pizza basis. Like that. Nice rich tomato flavour. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just do the ones that I'm doing without pepperoni first, which are the ones in the middle here. I just sprinkle that across the each one like that. And I'll do the same with the barbecue flavour ones at the back here. Something like that. Okay, let's do that. Now you can at this stage, if you want to, you can split them apart and then they hold when you pull them out of the oven you can have individual ones. So just push them all back together like that, put the rest of the topping back on there. And we'll do the ones with salami. So this time I'll add the salami in, I'll chop the pepperoni in. On the board like this, and I'll pick this up like this. And we'll chop this up to shred it finely like this. And there, and we'll toss that through as well, so we can have our pepperoni in there too. I've decided actually I might put a bit of sweet chili sauce in because that will give it a bit more heat to the actual mix and also it's got a little bit of garlic in so this is for people who don't aren't allergic to garlic they can have the sweet chili sauce in there. This will help stick it together too so you can uh, like depend and think about who's in your family you might want to put onion in you might want to put some other things in it. You might want to put some chili flakes in it, you know, something like that. And some mushrooms, even pineapple if you like pineapple. But not everyone likes pineapple on their pizza, do they? So, we'll just now put this on the rolls. Like this, cover them up. Like that, yeah. Okay. Same with the barbecue, just a different sort of flavour comes through with the barbecue. Okay, when you've got your pizzas ready, you can just place them in the oven. The oven's already been pre added to 180 degrees. The fan forced oven. Now I'll put it in there for approximately 10 minutes. been about 10 minutes now so we'll just get have a look let's see how they're going oh look at that just perfect there we go and there we have our pizza subs and thank you for joining me with cooking with mark